right, Sebastian here, returning for another episode in the ongoing hunt for an Atlas assault mech. Uh, I've been passed out in the med bay for the past little while, and I wake up to find that my chief engineer, Yang, has uh, just completed all of the work orders I assigned him. Blorks, Fang, and Decker are still a bit fatigued after the last bout of combat, so we'll give them another day to recover. With that, I think we'll head back into the contract screen, now that everything is in order, and we'll, what we'll do is uh, we'll take the eviction mission here. It's a destroy base mission, so there will likely be base defense turrets. Not exactly sure how powerful they'll be, but in a Bit of a break from tradition. Going to take the advice of one of the viewers and take full salvage for this mission rather than the full cash amount. And we'll see how that works out for us. So, with that having been said, let's dive right into the action. Uh, same loadout as last time. I think that's fine. Actually, actually, we're going to put the Wasp in instead of the Venom. Mostly because it has more weapons, and because it has jump jets, whereas this thing, it just has the heavy PPC and, well, I want more guns firing at every possible opportunity. So, let's go, Our, and this time we'll talk about the drop cost. <laughs> drop cost is 30,000 for this lance. Um, our lance weight is a total of 120 tons altogether which gives us a one-shield rating. And essentially the ratings here correspond roughly with the difficulty setting, so if you have a one-shield lance, you should be able to take on a one-skull mission with a fair degree of ease. And as it so happens, well, we do have the one full shield. It's a half-skull mission. I'm still a bit iffy about the difficulty of these scenarios, um, given the introduction of a lot of new clan technology in the update since I last played Rogue Tech, which was uh, a couple months ago. And, yeah, I think, however, we will try our luck with the next mission. If this one's going to be a quick one, I'll consider doing a longer video. I'm still a bit under the weather, so... That's a bit on the table, but whatevs. Let's go. So now that that loading screen's over, let's get into the mission. Alright, we're on a Arctic map, as usual. And we have a bit of a tough fight ahead of us. Base is on top of a hill. It's going to have defensive turrets. I'm not too hot about the idea of having to climb my way up to the top. So, I think what we'll do is we'll try to bait the garrison by moving up, falling back, and then moving around to the left, following the road up to the base. I think that'll be the e easiest path for us. So, let's get her started. Let's set up in the tree line. Spot our first set of enemies. The first guy is a locust. And despite our evasion, he manages to get a hit in on us with a medium laser. So, uh, off to some good RNG already. Now. I'm sort of glad he moved in forward, because... That means I can actually take some shots at him right now, rather than just hanging back. And we uh, repay him for the favor. I've got now. Another enemy's coming in from that angle. And we're going to continue uh, laying some fire into this locust. I mean, if we can do a lot of damage to him right now, that'll be great. A lot being... A lot isn't the operative word right now, however, but no matter. 
we'll move Decker into the lower tree line. Jump a Gauss rifle shot into him. And it unfortunately misses. But whatever. We'll deal. Now the first base defense turret makes its presence known. With what I assume to be LRMs. Um... A fairly weak LRM turret overall as well, so, you know, I'm happy about that, too. Good to go. The less incoming fire, the better. Now, Lurks, while you're in position, give him a, give him a taste of your medium pulse. You or, you know, a whiff, I guess, is uh, more what you had in mind. But, with that, you can fall back now. Locust moves a bit lower, takes another shot, and it's a miss. And this is all the excuse we need to uh, get Fang out of the line of fire, unless... Nah, he absolutely has no chance of hitting there. So, we'll run you into the trees down here instead. Bit of janky camera there. No worries. And a spider. Bog standard spider. Two medium lasers in the center torso. Nothing to worry about. So, given that it's nothing to worry about, we're gonna put our shots into him because they have the better chances to hit. And, well, hitting his hand doesn't do a lot for us. Um... Arm shots on spiders are somewhat useless because they don't actually have any components in their arms. But whatever. We'll deal. Another locust comes in. Two SRM-2s and a medium laser. And we've got some sort of uh, light vehicle. Maybe a technical? Standing by. We'll see about that. Um, cool. No line of fire from that position. That's fine. Um, we'll move you to the tree line here. Take a shot at the new locust. Let's hope you can uh, hit that just below 1 in 10 chance. If you can't, whatevs. We'll deal. Negative damage. Again, incoming LRM fire. Seems like two LRM fives. I might be mistaken about that. Yeah. What can I do you for? Overall, nothing much to worry about. And we'll reserve with everything we got. Enemy locust exposes himself a bit more. With a bit lower evasion, we're happy about that. And Decker, eh, you can still face tank a little bit. The other Locust runs off, and we're happy to leave him like that. <laughs> a slight bit of incoming machine gun fire manages to graze us, and uh, again, no worries, we take it in stride. Pass over a geothermal vent. We're in an arctic biome. It's not going to do much to us. And we'll unload into this fella. Hit chances are still good. And let's see. Fang and the Pirate's Bane. Yes, we'll move you forward, because given that the turrets have an activation phase on um, phase 3, um, that means that we'll have first activation in phase 4, so we'll be able to move you out of the line of danger. Got it. So we'll move you up. Dump all our fire into the spider. And... Uh, Get some pretty good damage in. Could have been better, but... Again, we'll take every little bit we can get. 
and try to focus the spider down. Every little bit helps. All right. LRM's refocusing on Fang. Good to go. And we'll continue bullying this spider. Hopefully, something can hit. But no, Decker is having troubles. No joy. I am a bit uh, too close to be able to snipe this guy effectively. But one would assume that some kind of damage would have made it in. So, as predicted, we get to start off the round. Fang will dump some fire into the spider. And then use the ace pilot ability to fall all the way back. Okay. Right. Good to go. A bunch of unfortunate hits on uh, Blorks here. And, um... Hmm. This inspires us to jump out of the way, expose our left side, and... Well, return fire with what you got. Fortunately, uh, we did manage to get one hit in. We did take out his uh, right arm, or no, that's the left arm, but that's not exactly doing a whole lot for us. All it does is uh, essentially any shots that would have gone towards the left arm are now going to auto-redirect themselves towards the um, left torso. And so, with that having been said, we'll move behind this rock. We're not incredibly evasive as a result. But our intention is to try to get this guy dead. Or at least panicked. And we'll take panicked. The other locust finally decides to rejoin the fracas. And, as predicted, it was a technical. So, Commander. Decker here, you haven't been hitting your targets very well. Maybe if you stand still? No, that's really poor odds. Hmm. Gonna try moving you back a bit. Moving to position. And hopefully... <sighs> oh, who am I kidding? We'll just wing it. Hopefully it would have hit, but so far our chances to hit are pretty dim. At some point, we're either going to have to upgrade this thing in order to eventually hold more lasers, or we're just going to have to get something to replace this hunchback. Because enemies aren't exactly targeting it too strongly. And we're not getting a whole lot of mileage out of its weaponry, either. So. How do we want to start this? My thinking is we start by pulling a bit of a flanking maneuver. Get a tiny bit of evasion up. And get some good hits in on this Locust. Uh, upper arm destroyed, so whatever is uh, mounted on that arm should be less accurate. And we've managed to spook it away. So, we're happy to have spooked it. Um, we're going to reserve with the rest of our boys. Cool. Locust doesn't actually end up spotting the wasp, and I'm happy about that. 
And the technical, uh, well, it's a bit of a waste of time. So what we're going to do... is consider if we want to move both Fang and Blorks up in order to try to spot this fellow. Standing by. I think what I'll do is I'll move Fang up, spot him, dump in some damage. Not much, but we are lighting him up. And, God, our chances to hit on that thing are awful, but we'll take them anyway. Roger that. I mean, we're going for long odds on locusts here, but... Damn it. Something's gotta kill him at some point. What we'll do with Blorksy Boy is we'll take a shot and then ace pilot our way out of danger. Eh... Uh, not a terrible amount of uh, damage done, but... Hmm. We'll sort of have to deal. We'll also expose our rear armor. I do want to keep this arm alive. So... That's the play there. So incoming LRM fire. This time it does get some hits in. Um, I've just noticed our center torso is starting to flag a little bit on the javelin, and that's not good. Receive that said, Fang, take another shot at the locust. I should have offensive pushed there. I forgot. And we'll also get you out of the line of fire. Heading out. Good. Only machine gun hits on the rear torso. So with that done, we're going to uh, sprint over into this location. Get ourselves as hidden as from the enemies as possible. And we're going to have to drag this out a little bit. Javelin still taking a fair degree of incoming fire. But what are you gonna do? Technical, I don't think, has uh, activated yet. He has not. Let's try to take him out in one swing. Okay, let's try to take him out in one swing. And it's good. Enemy unit so with that out of the way, we'll fall back a little bit. Um, yes, we're still fine. We'll push Decker up to the front. And we're going to offensive push this, just because our chances to hit are garbage anyway. Hopefully the Gauss rifle hits. Here it comes. And yep. Still nothing. Miss. And a good change of pace. Decker has now become the focus of the LRM fire. I'm showing minor damage. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Lorks. I think you are in the most danger, so we'll have you fire first. And you actually managed to get some solid hits in. Well done. Not to say I don't have faith in you or anything. It's just, you know, <laughs> our chances to hit are pretty poor so far. We could really stand to use some guidance computers. Locusts are moving in. Being annoying. Reporting. Minimal damage. No, that's okay so far. We'll continue trying to focus uh, this guy down, given that he's the most damaged already. All 
And cool. We've managed to do some upper arm damage to this guy as well. And, uh, yeah. Let's continue doing this whole fallen back nonsense. Now, Fang, we're going to reserve you. Other Locust, uh, gets one hit in on the Hunchback. We're not too put out of, bent out of shape about that. And I think, given how poorly you've been performing with your weapons, I think it's time you hit something. And there it is. That hit something good. Made him unsteady. Standing His evasion on. is gone. And that gives Fang all the opportunity he needs to wipe this guy off the face of the earth. So let's go. Got it. Very good. Tango down. Now. I think we're going to offensive push. Just fire at center torso. And, yeah, okay, nothing much gained from that exchange. But it does allow our folk to potentially do some something nasty to this guy. So... Was it the right or left arm? It was the right arm. Okay. Standing by. Put you into uh, that part of the tree line. Uh, let's see if you can get some fire in. Good, we managed to get your right arm down. That's one machine gun less to deal with. And every weapon less is a uh, weapon gained. On my way. No, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but... I don't care. <laughs> cool, Blorks misses with everything. We're not too happy about that. Locust moves in and tries to get some rear shots on Fang, but fortunately things turn out well. Nothing too screw going on. We're gonna have Decker throw another punch. There goes the right torso. Is he unsteady? He's also unsteady. Very nice. LRM fire comes in. And, uh... We get to unleash the first salvo. So, move around to the flank. And evaporate him. Heck, you even knocked him down. Didn't exactly kill him, but we'll take it. So, that out of the way. Uh, we'll try to take a headshot, why not? And we managed to incapacitate the pilot. Did we actually end up getting a headshot? I wasn't really able to pay attention there. No matter. We're gonna jump Blorks up. Ooh, he's actually going to overheat a little bit. Interesting. So, we'll jump him over to there. Um, and he didn't actually end up overheating, so that's fine. Now. Me with the javelin. We'll jump up into the tree line. And start trying to do something about the base defense turrets. As stated before, we're going to try to rotate to the left as much as possible. Hopefully things go well for us. Okay. Waiting for orders. We're performing another jump. We've picked up radar contacts of the turrets. And we're gonna brace. No need to vigilance. Ready for order. Let's sprint Fang up along the road. To go. 
Larks can also jump forth now. And finally, Decker. Waiting for orders. Let's move you up. Roger. Turrets aren't scanning us down, which uh, we're pretty happy with. And, as before, we're going to get ourselves into the tree line. Uh... Yeah, okay. So, uh, Darius, um, your words have broken the universe's physics. Thank you very much. And you're telling us we're getting flanked by enemy reinforcements. Unfortunate. The kind of pay grade this mission has, I was really hoping we would not have reinforcements to deal with. Shit. Well... Whatever. Take fire on the camouflaged LRM turret. Order. Ready Sprint order. fang forward. Um, preferably someplace where the other turret doesn't have a line of fire on them, but uh, maybe this is the place. Let's go. You're in cover. And let's try to do some damage to this building. Enemy structure is weakening. Eh, a bit of damage incoming. That's fine. Ready for order. Um, do we want to move Blorks up as well? That, that arm. It's, it's making me scared. Quite frankly, I don't want him to be in the line of fire, so we'll continue to keep him out of the fray for the time being. The thing we can consider doing is just destroying the base and bugging out. Unfortunately, the game is designed such that our odds... <laughs> like, where the uh, extraction point is going to be is likely going to end up being somewhere around uh, the area where the enemies are currently dropping in reinforcements. So, I don't know if we're just going to have to deal with every single last enemy on the map. And it also worries me that the... Uh, turrets aren't um, taking their turn first. Seems to tell me that we might be dealing with a medium mech over here, or a very... or... sorry. Or maybe we're dealing with a heavier vehicle. So, things to worry about. Now... We don't really have any shots on anything else, so go ahead, Decker, and uh, Target confirmed. eliminate it. Very good. One of four structures down. I get deep scanned in the Javelin. I'm really glad that the Pulse Lasers didn't end up doing a whole lot of damage to me. And MMLs. Of course it's MMLs. <laughs> damage minimal my ass. Took way more damage than I really wanted to. So, all said and told, we need to eliminate this turret as fast as possible. Our hit chances are good, eh, but it wasn't exactly enough. So we're going to need uh, some help from Fang here. And there she goes. Now, hopefully the MRM-20s here aren't going to take too much of an interest in Fang. 
Unfortunately, I think they're going to do exactly that. And this worries me tremendously. Okay. AC2? Oh, okay. Incoming plasma shots are not friendly. And it does turn out to be light mechs. Okay. Yes, Commander. Let's see, can we sprint Decker forward? In order to get some shots on the laser sniper turret. Well, exactly one. You're going to be taking a lot of hits. Uh, Reporting. Heavy do we have anything serious on that arm of yours? Just a medium laser. Commander. Nothing to get too bent out of shape about. Unfortunately, the MRMs did not, in fact, decide to do anything to us, so... We will retarget and hope to take down the laser sniper turret. And I think that's it. It's dead. Very good. Slowly, we're, uh, we're stacking the odds in our favor. That's just what we like to see. We'll continue leapfrogging Lorks forward in the Wasp. Ready for orders. And, uh... Whew. I think we'll have to flank around to deal with that turret, and then focus on that turret. So, we'll set up for that. Enemy light mechs don't exactly do anything, and we can't actually take out these walls. So that's a bit of an unfortunate circumstance for us, but as said before, we're content to just rotate left around this base. There's nothing here that's too dangerous for us. Just dealing with the turrets in a rather piecemeal fashion. Not like that. Let's uh, sprint you up over to here. I don't think the turret will have a line of fire on you. That is to say, me. Now, what about Blorks? What about Blorks? <laughs> anyway. We're just going to continue moving in such a way as to not aggro the turret prematurely and get the highest concentration of fire in on it as possible. Receiving you. And that'll be next turn. So, who's first? I guess I'll take point. Reinforced Shredder turret. MRM 20s. Yeah, we sort of need to deal with those real quick. And I think uh, the next volley of fire ought to be able to take them out. Thing, we'll leave that to you. Position confirmed. All weapons, go. And good night to that turret. It down, Commander. Now. Commander. We're gonna reserve with Blorks. Waiting for the shot. And from the looks of things, it's just a vehicle and a light mech, so we'll probably be able to take all of these down. Now. They've moved in such a way as to make it difficult for us to actually deal with that turret. So I think our best course of action is to merely wait. Waiting for orders. Let them round the corner and push into us. 
And never mind, there is another light mech in the fray. Okay. Good to go. I think it's time we jump into the base. Deal with that turret. So we're going to need blorks for this. Ready for <sighs> Will it be enough? I don't like his hit chances. I really don't. And I don't want to lose that arm. Ah, Christ. Go for it, man. You got it. I have faith in you. We'll vigilance you, however. One more! Ah. Come on. Ready for Christ alive. I think we're going to risk it with Fang. We're going to put him out into the line of fire a bit. But we need that thing gone. And now that that's been dealt with... Removed. Decker, Ready we need you to cover our boy at some point. And Receiving you. we probably should have given uh, Fang Vigilance as well. I mean, we have so much resolve and I keep forgetting to use it. It just hasn't been all that necessary. Um, yeah, just I'm gonna make some trash. slowly begin eating away at the buildings. And I really hope they can't get a line of fire on you. By posting up on that hill. Let's, uh, let's check. No, they, yeah, they might. Hmm, okay. Bit dicey. So we are going to jump you out. This will overheat you. But you can afford to shut down. Shut down override successful. And we're happy with that, too. Now. Similar scenario. Well, let's try dumping all our fire into the small military building here. It's a one-shot for us. And we're also going to jump you out. Now, that's been dealt with. We're going to actually avoid combat with this wave of reinforcements. There's absolutely no need to do so. There's enough salvage on the field, uh, as is. What do we really stand to gain from this? Good to go. Mm, perhaps better salvage. But another thing we don't need is bruises. So let's just reserve with everyone. Let them make their moves. Okay, jump you in. Uh, we'll turn off one of the extended range lasers. Now, finish the job with this. Seven damage. Nice. No damage detected. Standing by. Good to go. Same deal, my dude. Actually, you're overheating way more than you should be. So, maybe we can just sprint you into a new position later on. Okay. Let's do some Come heat on. management. Now, Decker. Standing by. Yeah, you don't really have much to do right now. Same thing with Fang. We'll get you into that tree line over there. No shooting, just running. Got it. Now. Given that that building's a one-shot, essentially. 
and that I don't have multi-target. Um, thank you for right-clicking already. Jeez. Um, took a bit longer than I expected that to, but... Eh. Do we want to expose Blorks like this? You know what, we'll risk it. I don't think they'll be able to get a line of sight on him. We will Vigilance, however, just uh, on the off chance that they do manage to do that. And you don't need to fire with everything. I think the medium pulse is going to be enough here. Yep. Aye, aye. Exactly. One more building to go. And now we can shine. Yeah, just evaporate it. Or again, fall four damage short of being able to do so. But, it's fine. We're gonna reserve with Fang. We still need to figure out where our extraction zone is. And it's uh, Blorks that's going to show us the way there. So, that's the building. Fire. Destroy it. And tell us where our extraction zone is. Of course it's behind the enemies. Of course it's behind the enemies. Christ alive. Panther. We don't want to deal with that. So what we will do... So we'll put you on the low ground now. Fire and jump and we'll hope the majority of the enemies circle their way around the left side of the compound. Again, reserve, see how they perform. Um, Commander. well, let's sprint Decker out of the way. And, again, reserve, reserve, done. Okay, one light mech doesn't seem to be willing to take the bait. Reserve, it's a fire truck. And... I guess we'll have to take it. Waiting for orders. Keep sprinting. Confirm. Yes, Commander. We'll jump you inside the base, and hopefully this will give us enough distance to jump out onto the other side. Jumping. Similar deal with myself. And Fang and... Uh, you. Fang and Decker are going to have to take the long way around. Oh well. Now, what we will do is we'll move up with Fang as far as possible, and it's an urban mech with an AC-10. So we'll Vigilance. We got our Vigilance up, and we'll fire at the Irby. And we hit his head. Okay. This might be uh, an easier deal than I previously thought it might be. So, we'll take our opportunity for another shot. And... Hmm, none of this movement is fantastic for us. So we'll move into the low ground, actually. This is going to be a pretty dicey extraction. Urban mech moved. Okay, very good. Reserve again. Fire truck's coming around the long way. Other vehicles useless, and the Panther has uh, decided to retask. 
So, we could jump a Blorix over the fence. It's a technical. Um... Can we afford to take the shot at the Irby? Maybe with a small laser? Well, yeah, okay, with a small laser. We can do it. And we'll give Blorx Vigilance. Because we can. So take your shot. Now. I have similar designs in store for myself. And we'll, uh, just try to take this guy down as fast as possible. Uh, heat sink destruction, not so bad. And, uh, Decker's slow, so whatever. Now. Okay. Lurks, you got to fire with... Uh, both of your small lasers, or should I fire with a small and a medium? I'll fire with a small and a medium. That's the best amount of damage output we can get. I'll make them right arm, right torso destroyed. Okay. Not so bad. And... Let's... Jump you into the tree line. Ah, but it's going to overheat you. We'll jump a bit farther back then. Okay. Another shutdown override. A uh, fortunate thing about destroying the right torso, however, is we managed to get rid of his uh, auto cannon. So that's actually a, a bit of a boon for us. Now. His frontal armor is stupidly tanky. Actually, it's not all that tanky. Screw it, just fire everything. Eliminate him. And he's gone. Cool, one less source of incoming fire. You know, at this rate, we may very well just completely eliminate the enemy team. Now, we're going to perform a standard movement action. We're going to content ourselves with that. We're going to sprint Fang. Uh, uh, maybe we can actually get him up this cliff face into uh, the extraction zone quickly. Okay. Technical doesn't really seem interested in us. Let's move Decker up. Receiving you. Full speed, no target. Okay. Are they indeed, Blorx? The Are the gloves off indeed? Good to go. Ah. Double time. Let's go. Okay. We don't have a line of fire on him, and what worries me is that he might be spotting for the panther. This Blork's getting lit up by this guy. I want to know desperately. But no matter. Maybe. Just maybe. He's not. And it doesn't appear like he is, so okay. We might be able to get our lads out of the way. And, of course, the extraction zone is on a geothermal vent. I mean, uh... It's really interesting, that is. Ready for orders. Well. Let's expose ourselves a little bit. And you know what? For once, the Gauss rifle hits. We're happy. Jeez, this cough is really doing a number on me. 
Yeah. yeah. So as it turns out, I won't actually be making a uh, longer ep. Well, this is the longer episode today. There won't be another mission. This turned out way to be way longer a mission than I really hoped it would be. Once it's dealt with, we'll be able to get ourselves home. Receiving now let's reserve. Let's see if Decker can actually climb that slope. Although at the present rate, I think I'll actually have to get engage in combat with that panther. So, we'll vigilance Decker. I want him to be activating in phase four. Fang, you're going to do similar things. We're going to give you Vigilance as well. And we're going to unleash the thunder on this panther. So at this rate, screw extraction. We're just eliminating all targets. Okay, very good. Let's get you into a tree line. On it. And... I mean, you can continue doing damage. Continue doing damage by all means. Uh... If we shut down here, it'll be funny. But we didn't, so it's fine. And that panther still refuses to target us. Okay. Naturally, since it wasn't overkill, we missed with the... Um... Gauss rifle, as usual. You feel somewhat confident in moving Blorks up. Give him a fire at will order. Ah. Oh well. Um. Blurks takes a shot again. Ready for orders. And we'll move him out of the line of fire. With a strategic jump. Scored a critical hit. Okay. And okay, everyone's having a fun time at the sauna. The panther doesn't really want to fire at us, which weirds me out on a lot. But whatever. Overheat alert. Yeah, we're fine with that. We'd be really happy just taking that thing out completely already. Let's see how he handles that indeed. He failed his stability check and we managed to panic him all the way out, so we'll retask onto the fire truck. We might as well. Screw it. We'll take a bit of flamer damage. And we'll take a head hit onto Decker. Because of course. Ah, <sighs> okay. Just reserve. Give Decker the first fire in order. You got it. Good to go. Gauss rifle hits. Somewhat to compensate for the head injury, I suppose. Receiving you. Um. Might as well go for broke with this whole heat management situation. Come on. Just kill it already. Structure's exposed. It's fine and dandy. Good, we've shut down. To mitigate this a bit, we'll offensive push. Hopefully get some side shots in. So that we can finally destroy that thing. 
Meanwhile, Florks just chill in the hot springs. Aye, aye. Ready for order. Standing by. Yeah, come on. It's almost down. Let's finish this mission already. Target taking a critical hit. Ah, my voice can't really last much longer. Reactor online, indeed. Fire truck is still content to shoot a Decker of all people, and he gets hit in the head again. Wow! All right, this is uh, this is getting real screwy. But. <sighs> Reporting. Vehicle destroyed. Heat damage. All right, so we finally managed to complete the mission on a slight tilt, given that Decker took way more damage than he needed to. But that's fine. Woo. Okay. Successful. So, we came out of that with a grand total payout of 57,000 credits. I mean... After the drop cost deduction, we didn't actually make all that much money, but, you know, an extra 35% on top of the, what would it have been, roughly 30,000 creds, eh, gives us a total of 57. Every penny counts. Especially in this, uh, mod. <sighs> Decker's out of commission for the next 40 days. Some minor repairs on every other mech we have except the wasp he has some structural damage but it's not too serious uh we didn't lose any important components and we can now see what kind of salvage we're gonna get and we're semi-tempted to uh get some locust salvage of all things maybe panther salvage We could try rolling the dice on a fully, on a full panther. We have the four slots available to us. And if I remember correctly, we do have some lasers in storage. But at the same time, fusion cores are valuable as hell. You need a sort of a buffer zone. Like a buffer for our engines, potentially. In case we ever manage to lose one in combat. And since we don't have one... I think we'll end up buying, or, you know, getting one of these engines. And screw it, we're taking fusion cores. Fusion cores are valuable, we want money. And we want some insurance against any potential nonsense that might befall us. Uh, this fusion core has a tonnage of 8 versus this one also has a tonnage of 8. So what's the difference? One's a 160 and one's a 170. Hopefully someone in chat can explain that to me, because I'm not exactly too familiar with these things. I suppose we'll have to look it up in the wiki. But overall, our salvage value is something closer to 4 million. Let's see what kind of parts we get. Okay, good, it hasn't. It was just taking a real long time to uh, do the numbers. Um, okay. We get a fairly good uh, mech parts haul. A light rifle, an MG, an MG light, another MG light, a medium laser. Uh, the cores in the engine we spoke about, and a couple of heat sinks. So, overall, a fairly reasonable haul, giving us a total value of 9 million. Okay, so, now that we're back in, uh, this screen, we'll get started on whatever repairs we have. Let Yang take care of that. And, yeah, thank Decker for his services. Unfortunately, he's going to be out of commission for a while, but, oh well. There's other folk who can uh, get their skills trained up. 
And that'll do it for this episode. We're going to do some inventory management next episode, as well as uh, taking a look at the store here and seeing if we can't put it together a bushwhacker mech. Uh, because I'd really like to have another body on the field, something a bit tankier than uh, either the Wasp or the uh, Pirate Spain. Although the Pirate Spain has been performing really admirably in terms of survivability. But the Wasp, not so much. It's been a bit of a crit magnet, so to speak. Well, with that said... Leave a like, leave a comment, leave a subscription, do whatever else feels good. I hope to be feeling better tomorrow. Hopefully I haven't shot my voice to shit uh, doing all this uh, commentary over the course of what is likely to be a one-hour episode. Uh, or at least 45 minutes. And no matter. I wish you all happy trails. I'll see you on the battlefield. Good day.